All right, good morning. My name is Erica Reed. I am the marketing manager with the Center for Musical Arts. And today I am sitting down with Ryan Sapp, one of the fantastic faculty members we have at the center. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm doing well, Erica. It's nice to see you and talk with you. Yeah, absolutely. Could you start us off just giving us the lay of the land? What is your role with the center? What is your history? Uh, I am the percussion instructor at the Center for Musical Arts. I began in November of 2017. Fantastic. How would you uh, just generally describe your teaching philosophy? Well, I try not to have one way of looking at things, but if I had to sum it up, I would say real world. I would say practical. I want a student to be able to use their knowledge and their skills in a real world application, uh, whether it's a school band, you know, I want them to be able to read their music and play the music that's presented to them. Uh, whether it's an adult uh, who just wants to play with his or her buddies um, on the weekend, you know, I want them to be able to use the knowledge and the skills on the songs they're learning, um, whether it's a uh, a teenager applying for a college audition. Um, everything that I teach uh, is applicable to real world knowledge and skills and real world usage. And so I try to teach from that point of view and uh, hopefully they can use everything that I give them. I think that's a great philosophy. So I didn't even introduce you as a percussion faculty member. What what drew you to percussion? What how what made that your instrument? Uh, you know, I started off when I was a little kid just uh, banging Lincoln logs on some pillows, and uh, and I think it just went from there. And I I started in a sixth grade band, and uh, you know played throughout middle school. Um, and, but I really wanted to play drum set. That was kind of the over, <laughs> overarching goal. And, and so I just started fooling around with that. And, uh, and I, it just kind of happened. I just kept playing and, you know, in my later teenage years, really, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a drummer. And then as I went on to college, um, I was exposed to even more of the percussion world. Uh, keyboard and uh, keyboards and uh, timpanis and and of course there's a <laughs> an entire literal world of percussion out there uh, from all around the world. So I, I became exposed to a lot of that stuff, and uh, it's uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. So which, um, if I can ask, which elements of percussion do you teach, or may, can you teach at all? Um, I, I I saw on your profile you mentioned hand pan. Yeah, that's that's a more recent thing. Uh, I've always had a fascination uh, with uh, metallophones, uh, cymbals, uh, anything made of metal. I see. Uh, gongs. Uh, they're, they're under the category of metallophones. Um, and I just love the sound of all of that. And uh, one of my friends had one. And of course, I was fascinated with it and uh, had an opportunity to acquire one and uh, I'm still practicing to this day on it. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, they're kind of a distant cousin to the steel pans, which uh, I just love the sound of uh, steel pans. Uh, and, and when when you hear them, I mean, you just want to get on the beach and do a little limbo, you know, <laughs> it just has a very, uh, has a very uh, just wonderful sound to me anyways. Fantastic. So have you had uh, along your path a teacher or a mentor who has who has guided you, who kind of brought you to where you are, and what kind of things did you learn from them? To be honest, um, I've had some good teachers, um, but I really didn't grow up with a mentor of that sort, somebody that guided me along the way. Early on, you know, I was I was kind of self-taught even though I knew how to read music and 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 you know play in bands and things like that I was a lot in a lot of ways very self-taught um and I just I just had to kind of figure it out for myself now 
having said that, I truly believe that having mentors and teachers are a vital part of becoming a better musician and even more importantly, becoming a better person and a knowledgeable person. So I try as best as I can to be that for my students. And while the lessons, you know, we usually meet once a week and they're for a certain amount of time. And I try to focus on the music. Um, I try to listen to what's going on in their lives and try to be there for them. And, uh, and so sometimes, you know, the conversation will start with, you know, and, and it's not always a bad thing, but, you know, maybe something going on at school or something going on in their life. Um, and I just try to be there for them and try to listen. Uh, as far as my mentors go, I actually worked a time uh, in Major League Baseball. Really? And I did. Actually, I still do. Uh, um, in, what, in what capacity? Um, I do the field security for the really? Colorado Rockies. Really? Yeah. That's going to be I, a fun gig. It, it is fun. It's a lot of fun except when it rains and you got to stand out there uh, during a rainstorm. Uh, <laughs> um, but a lot of my mentoring, a lot of things I picked up on were from major league coaches and major league managers on how to motivate, you know, professional athletes. And so I picked up a lot of tips and just kind of watch what they did. Um, yeah, in, in my opinion, in the, the overall world of, well, in, in the world, I guess, you know, maybe, maybe sports doesn't mean that much. I mean, it's just a game really, but to these players, you know, it means a lot to them. It's their livelihood. It's their passion. You know, maybe there's a lot of money on the line and how do you respond to adversity, you know, if you're a pitcher or something and you just had a bad outing and, you know, you got, you know, lots of home run, gave up a lot of home runs and things of that nature. How do you respond the next day? And so I picked up a lot of that resiliency and how to face adversity, not only from the players, but, you know, the coaches trying to keep a positive mindset and, and things of that nature. So I, I think a lot of, although it wasn't a mentor per se, I, I picked up a lot of that yeah. from, from, from coaches and, and major league managers and, and a lot of philosophies and approaches uh, uh, d definitely translate into music and into life. What an interesting perspective. Well, I was you know gonna ask, what else besides teaching fills your life? And you've got this. And then I was also reading, you perform in a band called Whitewater Ramble. Yes. Which describes itself as high octane Rocky Mountain dance grass. And I have just got to hear a little bit more about that. Well, it's uh, pretty fast. It's pretty energetic a lot of the time, most of the time. Um. It's kind of bluegrass based, so we use a lot of two beats and um, and and people like to dance to it. It's it's fast, it's energetic, um, it gets people on the floor, gets people excited. How and, long have you uh, been playing with Whitewater Ramble? Oh gosh, it's been probably about eight years now. Wow! And uh, you know, I played all over the country and and just bring bring in the fun. Uh, locally or nationally, wherever uh, wherever people need to uplift, we'll be uh -huh. there. <laughs> so you've got Rocky Mountain dance grass. You've got the Rockies. Uh -huh. You're teaching percussion. Is there you know <laughs> is there room for anything else? Not much. I'm pretty busy. Um, I put a lot into my students. Um, there's a lot of prep time that goes. Uh, in between lessons, I'm always thinking about uh, what's best for them. I take a lot of notes. I'm always, I'm always trying to make their experience as good as possible. 
Um, so yeah, I keep pretty busy. It's mostly music. Sometimes I get out and go hiking or mm-hmm. play in the garden, but, uh, between the lessons taught and, uh, and when concerts return, hopefully soon, um, it keeps me pretty busy. Yeah. All right. Well, it has been great getting to know you. Is there any last thing you think that uh, potential students who are looking to learn uh, any angle of percussion ought to know about about the center or about uh, you as a teacher? Come on in and check it out. You know, let's just play. If you have an interest, if you've ever picked up a, a drumstick and we're just kind of like, wow, I'd like to try that out sometime. Come, come in and try it out. See what happens. You know, I, I, I have adults that always wanted to do it. And a few of them were brave enough to take the plunge and they love it. And it's a lot of fun. You have to work at it for sure, but it's fun. And, and so if you're a kid or an adult, or some semblance in between, uh, come on in and just try it out. I'll show you a few things and we'll go from there. All right, thank you so much for taking time today. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Thank you so much.